Hi, I'm Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. I'm here with DevNet's friend, Kyle. Hi, my name is Kyle Winters, Technical Marketing Engineer with StealthWatch Customer Experience. All right, busy week at Cisco Live. Tell us first what you're presenting here in the DevNet Zone. So I'm presenting on Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to be doing a, a session on StealthWatch APIs. It's titled Operationalizing StealthWatch with REST API Capabilities. So we're going to go into several different use cases about StealthWatch and how to use the APIs to maximize your StealthWatch implementation. Security is foundational. So. Do you have anything new to announce to us? So with the launch of version 7.1 of StealthWatch, we are actually going to be launching our entire StealthWatch community on developer.cisco.com. So it'll be a one-stop shop to go to get all of the StealthWatch REST API documentation. We're going to have some sample scripts for our customers to be able to use and get started quickly. Uh, later on down the road as well, we're going to introduce some learning labs, some sandbox environments, and even a forum for customers to be able to come and ask questions about the APIs that they're using. What questions do you get so far? So one of the first questions I always get is, what are the API capabilities available? Wow, okay, you're going to be a busy guy building all of this. Absolutely. It, it's, we're looking very much forward to it, though. We've also got, um, with 7.1 of StealthWatch, we're also introducing some new REST API capabilities revolving around cognitive threat analytics. So you'll be able to, with 7.1 of StealthWatch, be able to pool your cognitive threat analytic incidents via REST API capabilities directly into any system that you want. So I've got to ask you the question of the week. Yes. You ready? Yep. Developer or engineer? engineer because when you're engineering you're developing as well as amongst other things too and I feel like it's more of an all-encompassing approach that takes into account other factors you can develop when you're an engineer but you can do other things as well too so I feel like engineer would be my answer for that one Wow well thanks so much for your work ahead of time and thank you for sharing the news with us absolutely thank you very much Sylvia